In this lecture, we are going to install DVD Core. Before we can do that, we have to make sure that you already install all the prerequisites. The main one being Python, Virtual Environment, and Git. So make sure you go to the previous lecture and read all the instructions and install everything that's necessary to get the BT Core installed on your local machine. Next, once you have all the prerequisites installed, you have to then go into your GitHub repository and clone your source code. In our case, I'm just going to copy this. Over here, we do a git clone. Now, this is our project, the BT learning project. I can now navigate into that folder. And as you can see here, I am on the main branch. And what I have to do is to switch to the develop branch. Perfect. Now we have our develop branch. If you look inside the folder, this is how it looks like. The next thing we have to do is to create a Python virtual environment inside our dbt learning project. This will allow us to maintain all the dependency inside a single folder and not everywhere on our system. For that, you can simply do virtual env vm. I'm going to use the default name that you also find in the documentation and also in the most literature online. Now you can look into it again and you can see it created a virtual environment if a new folder called vmf inside our project folder. Next, we then have to activate the virtual environment. And to do that, simply type in source and then activate. Now we have an active virtual environment. Depending on the terminal that you are using or how your system is configured, you might see a different output. For me, each time I activate a virtual environment, the name of the virtual environment simply appears this side, but for you, it might be something else. So now we have the virtual environment active. Now we can install dbt core inside this virtual environment. For that, we use pip install dbt core. Great. dbt core was successfully installed. We can check that by using dbt minus minus version. Now here you will see dbt core was successfully installed. This is the install version. This is the latest version. And we have no plugin installed yet. Remember that dbt connect to a data platform or a data warehouse and then run queries on that platform. And to be able to connect to the platform and execute all the SQL queries, you need a plugin. Therefore, if you look here, the supported data platform of dbt, you can go down here and you will see multiple adapters and you can then install one for the data platform that you are using. For us, we are using BigQuery. So I can click over here. And this is the name of the package that we have to install in order to be able to connect dbt to a Google BigQuery data warehouse. Go back over here. And install that. So if you do dbt minus minus version again, the output will be different. This is a version of the BigQuery plugin, and this is a version of dbt core. We can also install another plugin that I have to use because I also teach Databricks courses. I can do dbt install Databricks. And now you will see that we have Databricks installed, we have BigQuery and Apache Spark. The reason why Apache Spark is also installed is because Databricks is built on top of Apache Spark. Now we have dbt core installed and in the next lecture, we are then going to connect our local project to our Google BigQuery instance. See you in the next lecture.